Hold. We can touch multiple points at the same time, drag my finger across, and I'm going to open up the, the applications. There are a lot of companies already using this. So for instance, MSNBC is using this to cover the US elections and predict results. There's also Falcon Eye, and that's the, the application we're going to play with today. I thought it was kind of a cool name for Very an nice. application. Excellent. So we, we, what we can see here is a map of the US. We can drill out, and just through simple hand movements, drill in and drill out, move that map around, and manipulate with that visualization. I can also drill down into some predefined views that zoom into a particular area. So in this case, we're going to look at Seattle, beautiful Seattle where we are right now. So you can see that just with the touch of a finger, I can move that map around. I can also twist it and rotate it and look at it from different views. Put my hand down, I can tilt it so I can look overhead or underneath. So that's just to give you an idea of how you interact with it. That's amazing. It's, it's really quite cool. So for any of you folks who are out of town, and I know we have a, a very international audience today, I thought I'd just point out for you where exactly you are. So you can see here we're at the Washington State Convention Center. And so if we want to overlay some of our BI data on top of this map, it's really just clicking on it. So what we're looking at here is power consumption by building. So we can see how much power the Washington State Convention Center is using. Now if we look at water consumption, we can see that in the 3D image as well. So let's, let's take a look at the Washington State Convention Center. We can see some information about where we're located. We can twist that around so you can see it a little bit better, Kurt. Um, but let's drill into some data. And, and what we're going to look at here is water quality. So I saw you backstage having a cup of coffee. Did you, did you enjoy it? Oh, very much so. Would you like to know how good the water is at the convention center? I don't know. Do I? I don't know that you do. <laughs> Show me anyhow. All right. Well, uh, you know what? Ignorance is bliss sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you asked for it. OK, so what we've got here is a scorecard. I'm just going to expand this out so you guys can see it a bit better. So a couple things happen when we're, when we're cleaning up the water. Um, the inorganic contaminants you see here, like fluoride, nitrate, copper, lead, and we can see the chart updating on the, on the right-hand side. This is what happens when you chlorinate the water. These are the byproducts that are left over. The microbial stuff, that's the stuff that would make you sick right away. So if there are any microbial contents or organisms in the water, you wouldn't be standing here right now. You'd, you'd probably be backstage not feeling very well. Good to know. <laughs> it looks is like, good to know. Looks like I don't have to have a hot dog today, though, with the nitrates being where they are. <laughs> that's true. It, it is a little high. It's kind of yellow. So we, we might want to stay away from that. Um, but this inorganic contaminants, that's the stuff that affects you over time. It's much slower. So why don't we take a look at the lead content in the Washington State Convention Center. So we can see it down here on the right. And the neat part about visualizing data in this sense is that we can start benchmarking how we're doing across other buildings. So the federal bank sitting next to us, we can see how they're doing on lead content. And then this red line is the goal of where we're supposed to be based on water quality standards. So if we want to drill up through this chart, we can see Seattle versus some of our neighboring cities like Kirkland and Olympia and Spokane. And we can drill, drill up even to the state by state level. So you can see Washington is pretty much on par with Texas. And if we look at it for copper, we can see that California is way over the gold target. We're actually doing pretty well for Washington. So if we want to drill down, just one touch and then hold on Seattle, and it drills yeah. back down to the next level. So this is, a, this is pretty cool, getting to see how you would play with BI data within such a visual, interactive context. It really breaks down that last barrier of getting anybody to be able to use this. So I thought that was kind of fun. Something else we can do is look at, yeah, can, it is very clap. cool. Glad you guys are enjoying this. I thought this was really fun. So another thing that we can do is, is overlay temperature data as well. Now, I don't know if anybody in the audience has picked up the, the Canuck accent. Uh, people, our customers backstage were teasing me earlier, saying that I was saying a boot and hoose and all sorts of things. So just as a tribute to them, to our Chevron and Eli Lilly customers, nice. I'm going to flip that to Celsius. <laughs> oh, <laughs> There's some Canadians. Good. Excellent. <laughs> Looks like we've got some fans of the metric system in the audience. Excellent. That's always good. All right. So I'm just going to bring up a calendar. And this is kind of neat, because what we can do is just by touching on different dates, 
we can see how the data in the chart updates. Now, if we wanted to look at how this trends over time, we can hit play, and you can see that it's going through several weeks of data to see how water consumption levels are changing over time. So you can see it's a really, really visual way to look at that kind of information. So I'm just going to click out of this and get rid of water consumption. And I want to look at Seattle overhead. Here we go. Now, part of understanding data is having context to that data. So it's not just about the numbers that you're looking at, it's all of the other information that surrounds it. So let's take a look at some live data feeds on traffic in the Seattle area. So for any of you folks who are local, you've probably been stuck in a traffic jam or two in your time. So you might want to know what's going on with the traffic and be able to see how congestion's working out. We showed this demo to uh, some of our industry analysts yesterday, and one of them asked me if that was the O.J. Simpson video, and I can assure you it, it's not. But uh, I don't think he's going to have been driving uh, privileges coming up. He's not going to be driving anywhere for a while, but uh, good, good catch on the, on the Bronco. It's very, very astute observations. So now if we go back to the global view, you can see that just by through simple touching of, of the screen, we've been able to explore BI data, get context to that information, drill out, interact with it in a really easy format, nice. which I thought was kind of cool. That is very cool.